So, a rich little man with white hair died. What has that got to do with the price of rice, right? And why is that woe to us? Because you people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now. Because less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. So you listen to me. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats. We're in the boredom killing business. So if you want the truth, go to God. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. <laughs> but man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We deal in illusions, man. None of it is true. But you people. Oh, sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube, you ate like the tube, you raise your children like the tube, you even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. So turn off your television sets, turn them off now, turn them off right now, turn them off and leave them off, turn them off right in the middle of the sentence I'm speaking to you now, turn them... If you look in a study they did in a survey, that the average worker watches 30 hours of television a week. Children, they say 40 to 60 hours of television a week, a full-time job, watching nonsense. This is what they're doing. When you go to the managers of these people, they watch 20 hours a week. When you go to the, you know, the people over the managers, then you get like 10 hours a week. When you get to the CEOs, they watch two to three hours of television a week. 50% of that material is material related to the work that they're doing. So the movers and shakers in this world are not sitting around watching television. They're utilizing their lives for show, for evil. And they're spreading their facade all over the world, but they're busy at it. And the Muslims are asleep, and because we have gone to sleep, they have taken over.